Ahoy hoy, I'm Plan Walk, and I have some good news for everyone, especially flat earthers. Sucking is not actually a thing, technically. Now, why do I say this? Well, a lot of flat earthers say that if space were a vacuum and there were no container around the atmosphere, then all the atmosphere would just be sucked off into space. But here's the problem with this line of reasoning. Vacuums don't actually suck. In fact, nothing really sucks. Sucking is just an illusion. Now, some people may be asking, well, if sucking doesn't exist, then what is happening when my vacuum cleaner is supposedly sucking up dirt? And, well, Del, can you give an answer? You're actually pushing. Well, you're actually correct. What is actually happening is your vacuum cleaner isn't really sucking. It's just that things are being pushed into your vacuum cleaner. Now, this may be a difficult concept to grab, for flat earthers at least, but sucking is not some magic pulling force that pulls things towards it. It's to do with pressure. So what is actually happening when something is sucking? Well, essentially what it's doing is it's making a low pressure. Now, if you understand pressure, you'll know that pressure means force per unit area. So if you have a high pressure, you have a high amount of force. If you have a low pressure, you have a low amount of force. Now, can anybody tell me what happens when you've got a greater force in a particular direction than in the other direction? If you answer with objects that experience that force will travel in the same direction as the greater force, you would be absolutely correct, because that is what happens. And the same thing happens to air. If you have a high amount of pressure in an area and a low amount of pressure in another area, that high amount of pressure will move towards that low amount of pressure. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that air actually exerts quite a bit of force. It's just generally not felt because it's coming from all directions. However, a time when you might feel some of that pressure is when it's windy, because that is air pressure pushing more in one direction than the other. So how this works with something like a vacuum cleaner is the vacuum cleaner will create a low pressure inside of the vacuum cleaner, and all the high pressure outside of the vacuum cleaner will then rush into the vacuum cleaner and forcing anything in its path into the vacuum cleaner. This all creates the illusion that the vacuum cleaner is sucking when in fact Everything's just getting pushed into the vacuum cleaner by the air pressure. And the same kind of concept applies to when you're sucking a protein smoothie through a straw. You're just simply creating a difference in air pressure within the straw to outside of the straw. The only difference here is that the pressure outside of the straw pushes down on the protein smoothie and the pressure inside of the straw, well, there's less of it to push down on the protein smoothie inside of the straw, so it ends up rising. So really, nothing's being sucked there. It's all being pushed by pressure. Now, a flat earther might come along and say, well, I am actually a smart flat earther, and the pressure of the Earth's atmosphere should push the Earth's atmosphere into space. And to that I say, yes, but only if there is no other force acting upon it. Can you guess what force might be acting upon it? Maybe, uh, gravity? So yes, gravity stops all the atmosphere from being sucked off into space. I hope you're, I hope you're happy. Can we, can you stop that argument now? Sucking doesn't exist. Unless you're talking about sucking D's Sorry about that. 